you might be wondering how I did all that. Well, mostly the first part. Well, I'm gonna explain it to you guys exactly. So I start off. So here's how you do it. You start by you start this. You start this setup by hitting the those green things on the side of the rubber sponge. Yeah. You have to go to. You have to stay on the left on the platform. And when he's about to karate chop you, um, go to the right. And then launch him in And there's an invisible trigger hovering above the spawn for me. The robot better change so if he does fast. this, uh, wait, that was a bad example. I missed it. Suck it to him, SpongeBob. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's an invisible trigger that can be reached if you Will have the right setup. Then you just do this. But almost messed that up. This is the easier way of beating the final boss. This one is well off the same bottom. This makes the boss fight a lot easier. You just do everything else like you normally would. And then you're good. Get these things. And then you're good. I'll show you one more time. So yeah, it's an easier way of beating, getting through the SpongeBob Bob boss without even, without even having to do the stuff with the cruise bubble. I mean, you only have to really use the cruise bubble a few times in this part. Once you knock out Robo Plankton, you stay still on the platform. Usually you get that first try, but somehow I I suck so terribly at it. It's been giving me the, it's it's been giving me this luck all all day. It's been giving me this bad luck. It's pure luck. Sometimes you'll get it first try. Sometimes you won't. If you get if you don't get it first try, don't be. Don't get frustrated over it. Yeah, if you don't get the invisible trigger first try, uh, then yeah. That does it. SpongeBob is Okay, I can't even talk over the people. They keep they keep talking over me. Wow. But yeah. And just with that setup, you're good. Sometimes you won't get it first try. Sometimes you'll have to do it multiple tries. Will SpongeBob be able to neutralize the giant robot's brain? Or will SpongeBob go undefeated and dejected? And you don't have to wait for that, uh, Duplicatron freaking explode. You can either have a hammer bot hit you. Or have the uh duplicated trying to explode, whatever you prefer. Well either one of them works. I don't know why I did a bull there.
Oh, and by the way, um, in order to do this part, um, you have to have the hand to save this. Which I'll show you how to do that in a second. Yeah, in order to do that inside of Virgo Sponge, you have to, um, you have to have the hand disabled. I'll show you guys how to do that. I'll show you guys how to do that. Yeah, in order to do all that in the, uh, second part of the Robo Squad. Wait, I can't. Music gets annoying when it's when you're trying to talk. It's like very annoying. Or mostly the game audio itself. Yeah, but in order to do all that in the uh, inside of Robo Sponge, um, that second part, um, you have to um, you have to have the hand disabled. And this is how you do it. You accept the prompt. And the Jellyfish Fields Taxi Pad. I freaking just messed it up. Because I forgot how far I was. You go into the. Lay there again, and um, the hand will grab you and then uh, drag you into the loading zone, and then you're fine. You're all good. Just good. you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button also subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'm out of here peace